All right. So you are talking about arms. I need to clean the arms now. They're a bit messed up. Let me see you. Oh yeah. From this section here, <clears throat> a bit straight. That's but that's cool. That's a bit straight through here. So yes, some arcs will be cool. Watch this in real time. That was a bit fast, right there. I think that that swipe forward is a bit fast, and then it kind of lingers visually in that area for a bit long. So I think you can steal a couple frames out of this section and then add it for here for this section. Even clicking. Even the these guys are a bit fast, but I think it will help with clean arcs, so you don't start. So it's basically um, so you don't start with an arc and then suddenly you go straight down. I think that type of stuff is going to be helping uh, once you fix that. You know the visibility of that. It's going to help the speed of it and readability. Worst case, you might have to reduce the amount of turning around here, of swinging. But it's good note, I like it. Uh, right arm especially is way too shaky, I haven't animated that properly. I also want to make it go on a proper arm like you suggested. Yep, 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 one is over here. Hook up from the second to the third as you suggested on week four, I like to extend shot two. Yes, so this is where we start this one, as we have now. All right, yeah, I think that is all good. I think what you could do, careful here, there seems to be, go back here, it's quite a lean back with the head forward here, which can be fine, but then when you go forward here, that feels weirdly, feels really broken because you go forward, but it's still looking down. It's as if the relationship between the lower neck and the head is the same through here, but it's just the chest moves forward. So at this point, I would always expect the nose to be a bit higher. I like those little bumps here. They just feel very translate and not enough in terms of rotation. That might just be me. I'm always very picky about head align and head IK stuff, but I want to see a bit more rotations in it. But once you get around here, that rotation and that little bit of twisting and tilting, that's all cool. Careful that I would lead with the head maybe a frame or two earlier. Just doing this. Uh, and then probably lift that arm so that there is negative space between the leg and the elbow. But just to go back, um, during this section, the head feels weirdly translate -y and all in one axis going forward. So if I go back here, it's always looking forward. It's a lot of translates, pulling forward. And only through here, around this section here, I feel like there's space being used where it's rotating in Y, it's moving away from us, just being a bit more organic in its movements. So if there's anything you can do to add some more complexity to the head through there. And I know she's staring forward, but you know, during all those pop out those steps here, which are really hard impacts through there shooting up, through there shooting up, there could be more rotation down and impacts with a little bit of sideways tilt and twisting and just give this a bit more, another pass in terms of body mechanics. It's cool though, I like that little step at the end. That feels nice and weighty. Yeah, I think the main thing to me would be the head. Head stuff, and like you said, arms, arm swings. Um, once you just start adding more, or just cleaner arcs, again, they might be still too fast. So you might have to reduce the amount there to slow that down as well. All right, that's about it. Thank you. All right, there's an email. You can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.